Welcome back. Politicians are running hard to gain credit of developmental works. In Fatorda, it's the same story. Local MLA Damu Naik and aspiring Congress candidate from Fatorda, Vijay Sardesai, are on a credit-taking run. Watch this report from Savio Dais. Fatorda MLA Damu Naik held a meeting with South Goa Deputy Collector Dasharth Redkar to review the developmental works in his constituency. He says he will complete all the pending roads by Christmas. He explained why the work got delayed. कई पॉलिटिकल लोग हर्डल्स गलत बात कर रहे हैं। हर्डल्स इन अ सेंस आता तस्ले आतुन तो कहो प्रूफ जाए मंडल तस्ले प्रूफ असना पर जानो न बुझो न आता ऑफिसर ने कहा कि चल ले जय ऑफिसर ने मार के सांगले कॉन्ट्रैक्टर ने कि आप ले गोरस तो फाले कर पक जाए तो निवाल करता अने दूसरे नेक्स्ट दिशा � तुम ही आज आज जिन्हें मंडल हैं, for what reason they are doing all this? To delay all my developmental work. अने मैं ये बोल रहा हूँ मरपा, दामुन सांगले हैं और काम करूँ ना, ये करूँ ना। Damu has now challenged that if any developmental work in Fatorda constituency is done by anybody other than him, then he will quit politics. मैं मिसगाइड कश करता थे रहना, सादे उदाहरण दिखा। मतलब जन वो नोट जन पढ़े वाता नहीं, आई जी मीटिंग, कलेक्टर मीटिंग, असली मुन्ना कर ले बोलो पहले लोकांक को इतने नहीं दामुन सगड़े आज ये मीटिंग इतने मनोन मंडे के आज सकाल तो शो कर अब आप उन्हें करता आप उन्हें टेक करते मनोन आई माय ओपन चैलेंज कि एनी एनी ऑफ द वर्क हैज बीन डन बाय एनी अदर देन एमएलए प्रूव इट प्रूव इट आओ ओपनली आओ सांग को जाहिर रहते आओ राजकरण इतने देव दा while Damu Naik is busy in meetings with officials, aspirant Congress candidate from Fatorda Vijay Sardesai is out on the field on the same job. Inefficient MLA wants to show at the fag end of his term that he has done some work and he's got a haste of breaking coconuts. This work should not be hastily done. We request, we want to request the Chief Minister to personally look into this, see that all departments, PWD, electricity, sewerage department, all are taken into confidence and see that the immediate uh, works that are pending are completed and works are not duplicated that uh, after the hot mixing is done just because to please a contractor the hot mixing works are taken and then again the roads are dug and which will be remained like that we don't want this to happen a reporter from Madgao, Savio Dice and now news from sports Rajasthan Pal on the runs on day one in the under-19 Kuch Bihar trophy against Goa. The visitors won the toss and elected to bat on a good-looking poor wicket. The Sanjirian duo of Paritosh Prahar and Siddharth Saraf looked confident all through their knocks. Openers Paritosh and Siddharth enjoyed the pace of the track. On the other side, Goa's keeper Darshan Misal said his bowlers did not bowl in the right areas but took nothing away from Rajasthan. Rajasthan won the toss and did not look back. They went on batting with confidence and scored freely against the Goan bowlers. The first wicket partnership lasted for 200 runs when Paritosh Parahar was dismissed for 115 of 170 balls studded with 18 boundaries. This was the teenager's first under-19 century. The Goan boys' leather hunt continued as Paritosh's opening partner Siddharth Saraf went on to score his century a few overs before close of day's play. Medium pacer Sagar Naik picked up the only wicket of the day. Rajasthan ended day's play on 316 for one. This is what the Centurions had to say at end of day's play. You scored a century earlier on in the day. Um, how did it feel? Yeah, it's feeling great. Actually, I was a little, I was in pressure a little bit, but I just tried to play my own game. That's it. I never, I was not con concentrating on other things. I was hitting the ball well when I was. In the first session, I went to play good shots, so I, I, I was having a good confidence. You hit 18 boundaries and uh, your, run, your, run, your strike rate was very good. You stroked the ball very well and you got a century quite early in the day. 200 run partnership also that you made. Um, what was going through your mind? How was the wicket when you came out to bat? Uh, was it supporting your shots because you, was, you just told us now you were playing a lot of shots? Yes, because uh, on this wicket, the ball comes after hitting the deck. So it just suits my batting, batting style. And we both open for our district in Rajasthan, local cricket too. 
how did your uh, knock go about were you happy with it yeah i was very happy actually uh, i got a bit casual in the middle of mining so later on i uh, concentrated and then i scored it how did you find this wicket because it looks like a very sporty wicket yeah, uh, how did a, you it's a beautiful wicket to bat on but i think uh, if if the medium pitch bowl well on the wicket they they can be uh, effective uh what does your team plan now from here uh, you all want to bat go out of the game practically you all are looking to score a bigger score and declare as fast yeah, as you all can think, uh, 550 it's will be a very good score on this wicket and then we can put the put them in you feel uh, your bowlers are good enough to get 20 wickets here yeah absolutely a sports reporter nikhil parera with video journalist prasad harmalkar from purvuri Supercars are on everyone's wish list. Then may it be a shiny red Ferrari or a plush and classy Rolls Royce. Goa's Uni Automobile Magazine Autobus Goa and Alila Diva Goa have started a unique club for all supercars and their owners in Goa. The first such meet of a few cars was held in Alila Diva. Enjoy this supercars. Autobus Goa's editor in chief Rohan Coelho's concept of starting an exclusive club for supercars is a unique one. This not only gives supercar owners a chance to showcase their wheels but also to meet up with fellow supercar owners from Goa. Here's a look at few of the cars that were present. Executive assistant manager of Alila Diva Goa gave a few details of the event. Uh, what we're trying to do is to make this an annual event. Uh, what we're doing is to bring out a whole load of Audis, uh, some Mercedes, some Porsches, and Aston Martin. Over in the corner, we have a beautiful Rolls Royce. Uh, this has become an annual event that we're trying to do to showcase, obviously, Alila as a lifestyle hotel, and also to bring some of the action down to the south of Goa, rather than the north taking it all the time. So, what are the cost of the car? Uh, the cost of the cars range anywhere from 50 lakh right up to uh, I'm not sure what the price would be in Indian. rupees but it would be around about 300,000 dollars in in US. A reporter from Betalbati Savitais. And with this we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.